Okay, party people. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but uh, the forks are drifting. So like when I, when you pick up the forks, when you raise the forks, and you don't you don't touch the controls or anything like that, and the controls go to neutral, um, it starts drifting down or like you know going down on its own. There's two possibilities. Um, it's leaning more towards uh, the control valve just because. There's only two hydraulic lines going to the cylinder, or not two. There's only one hydraulic line going to the to the cylinder, so um, most likely it is the control valve. But to diagnose it, uh, obviously put the blocks down. You know, make sure that you're not going to crush your face or your hand or anything like that. Make sure it's in neutral, and and emergency brakes is on. Um, and don't fucking start it. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, once you do that, there's a. There's that line, that hydraulic line, right, ah, <laughs> right here. This is a hydraulic line. Pop that open and then uh, get a gate valve, a gate valve, you know, like something for like to turn a faucet on and off kind of thing or like for like a garden hose or some shit. Get two lines made up so you can hook it up, you know. So you can put the gate valve in the line and then um, raise it back up and then turn off the forklift and then close the valve, you know, just close that gate valve. And then if it stops, it's the control valve. But if it keeps going down and or drifting down, it's the cylinder. There's seals in the cylinder that can go bad and then... The hydraulic fluid leaks past it and it just goes down but it's leaning more towards the control valve just because it does have one hydraulic line um so yeah so i'm gonna pull that line and then i'm gonna go get a gate valve and uh yeah go from there so yeah sit tight okay uh i got the test line uh made and uh, I just got it hooked up. Okay. So the idea is to put a shutoff valve in the line and shut it off manually. I know that it is wrapped around the boom, so I can't go that high. And I got to be super careful to not pinch the line, cut the line, and kill myself. <laughs> so I'm only going to go up a little bit because I know that this thing drifts pretty quick. Um... Yeah, it's pretty much uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. You know, like if you don't do, if you don't know that, you probably shouldn't be doing this job. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll show you guys. I hooked it up there. This one is in the back, right back there, and then this one is the front one. But yeah. Um, I'm about to start it, and uh, yeah, probably gonna put my uh, face shield on because uh, I'd rather lose a leg but not an eye. Is that does that sound right? <laughs> it probably doesn't, but um, yeah, I'll I'm gonna put on my face shield and I'll get right back to you guys. It's over there. Uh, I can probably, yeah, it's right there, right by the hard hat. But uh, yeah, man, this is the after hours of being the shop foreman, you know, like fucking working late with nobody around and yeah, and try not to kill yourself because there's nobody here. Hello. Yeah, nobody here. And uh. So yeah, I'm gonna get my face shield on and get back to you guys. Sit tight. Okay. Face shield on. Um. I know this is. I know this is fucking dangerous. I fucking know it. I know it's dangerous, but here we fucking go. Fuck. 
go really fucking slow. Yeah, still drifting. You hear that? It's still coming down. Okay. I'm gonna close the valve. And it stopped. Fuck. Control valve. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, it's still in the air. Whew. Yeah, gonna... Ooh. Scurry. Scurry. So that's why you use blocks. <laughs> so you don't crush your face or anything. Uh, yeah. So it is a control valve. I'm just, oh, I don't know why it shut off. Um, I turned off the propane. Uh, right, there we go. Turn this on. Let's uh, fire this bitch back up. Yeah, it's drifting. And I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna stand in the way. And it stops. So yeah, so you guys saw it drop when I opened it, so yeah, and it's not drifting anymore. So control valve. Oh, it's leaking a little bit. That's okay, I'm gonna let it leak. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to tighten that bitch. Um, but, uh, yeah. Whew, this is nerve wracking, man. Fuck. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna call my boss and then I'm probably gonna order some parts or something. But, yeah, man. Uh, that's how you find a bad control valve. <laughs> the pretty getaway. Um, you can also, uh, I think that's with two lines. If you have one at the top, a uh, hydraulic line, like a return line for the hydraulic fluid, you can uh, pull off both, both lines. And if one of them is leaking, it's your hydraulic cylinder. Yeah. The seals in them for, for the, the piston on the inside, there's like a 10 cent O-ring in there that, you know, like keeps the, the fluid on one end of the hydraulic hydraulic cylinder and so it'll go up and that o-ring will hold hold the hydraulic fluid and the pressure and if they go bad the hydraulic fluid will leak past that and the the cylinder will go back down but yeah yeah fucking ace well um you guys have a good time uh until next time yeah um but yeah uh this will be hopefully a continuous thing um but i think the next thing i don't know might be a fucking nightmare so i don't know we'll see we'll see uh yeah you guys have a good one pieces